So today I decided on redesigning Sonya the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog sister from the show Sonic Underground. So I randomly decided to record my sketching process and decided to turn it into a video because I haven't done that in a while and I normally don't record my sketching processes. So I just thought it would be neat to see. And starting the redesign with her hair, I decided to update it by making it shorter and spiky, kind of, to resemble Sonic's, but with some bangs. Then next with the redesign, I updated her clothes, making them look more punk rockish, I guess you could say. And I didn't record the sketch process because I had no idea what I wanted for her clothes. And then I started a second sketch process and finished that, and then I didn't record the line art process so it could take as long as I wanted on that. Back to the clothes, now that you can see what I'm doing with them. I gave her a black sweater mini dress type of thing with a cropped leather jacket and a belt over the dress. And then I gave her a high high boot with a little, I don't know, pouch thingy, I guess you could call it. I don't know what they're called. And then leggings. This is the finished liner, and then here is when I start with the coloring. Whenever I color, I first start with the eyes, and then do everything else, and you might be able to see that there is like another colored version of her. That was my sister helping me get the colors for her, so yeah. And with it, I gave her blue eyes as a thing to contrast the fact that I give Manic pink eyes and Sonic has green eyes. And then with her coloring as well, besides that, I took away her second pink color that was for her quills and hair because it just looks a lot better with one color, I think so. And it just for some reason looks so dated with that second pink color with her. For the coloring on her clothes, she has a red-ish color of a leather jacket, a blackish mini dress, a gold belt with a red gem on it, some purplish tights, and some bluish kind of boots as a thing to tie in the colors of her old design, but also make them, I personally think, look good.
And then I colored her muzzle and gave her some makeup. And I don't know why I keep forgetting to mention this, but I gave her fingerless gloves that are also a bluish color. And here is the part where I start coloring the line art and do a bit of shading. I don't do much shading on these pictures and it took me a while to figure out the colors to use for the coloring of the line art, but I ended up being pretty happy with it. But that's all I really have to say, so enjoy the rest of the video.